Rooms in Rec Room have an overarching problem that needs to be addressed and explored. This video will sway to a certain side of the coin but for a reason, because these problems can be absolutely detrimental to the coming generations. This is the worst rooms in Rec Room. Silly Vaping Simulator Vaping is a bad habit done by various teens and adults. The designs and packaging on the vape, as well as the general misconception that vapes are better than smoking, brings people to start vaping. Friends or family members can also try to get you to vape or facilitate the bad habit for the rest of your life. Vaping can cause a range of debilitating illnesses such as lung cancer or heart disease. In this game, the creator tries to convince you that vaping is something the creator doesn't endorse. However, when I started playing, I felt like I was hooked to the fake vapes. On top of that, there is a section in the rooms where you can upgrade your vapes and the descriptions of the pens make it look and feel cool. That isn't a good thing if you're trying to discourage vaping. The only game mechanic that may put you off vaping is your lungs getting worse as you level up, as well as the health system that goes down if you vape too much. The thing is, that's not enough to completely discourage it. The developer of the room even has set up events where people come together and vape in his public rooms. This is something that can encourage a lot of vaping people. Blatant copies of Roblox games. Now, I want to talk about these two things. Blatant copies of Roblox games, for example, Blade Ball, or pay to win rooms which are also against the code of conduct. For example, Recall Arena. Despite being against Rec Room's rules, these rooms continue to be found under Rec Room's noses and continue to have a platform within the game. Take Recall Arena and Blade Ball for example. Recall Arena is a pay to win game because it requires the player to either spend hours grinding to get better guns, to get more kills and win, or they can just pay up with tokens to get potentially the best guns in the game. The more expensive the shotguns are, the more they damage you and the further they knock you across the map. Each kill you get grants you $15. The problem arises when you must kill players with better guns than you. In this game, there is no filter in terms of gear and there is no way each person has a fair chance at getting kills since some people just have an unfair advantage. That's a problem that pushes profit over fairness. Blade Ball is a blatant copy of its Roblox counterpart, down to mechanics, assets, and general gameplay. However, Rec Room has continued to reward this game as well as many other games despite being copied and not from the original developer. This is a problem that needs to be addressed as the proper developers that put full time and effort into original projects will end up finding it harder to get noticed if this is the path that continues to be taken. These copies are things that not even the Rec Room community, specifically the Reddit one. Despite Rec Room's amazing efforts to try and to delete any and every Roblox copies, these games continue to be found within the game. This isn't the fault of Rec Room, these are the fault of the developers that profit off of bladed copies. So, what can we do about these rooms? How can we prevent them from making future Rec Room rooms be the norm of Roblox copies, cash grabs, and pay to win games? Well. There are a couple of things that are completely doable. Exhibit A. If you suspect that a room may be one or all of these three things, you can report the room and let Rec Room know that this is a problem. I do not support drug use or making drug use of food, so I believe silly vaping simulators should be banned in my opinion. Exhibit B. Reward honest room developers that make quality, appropriate games. It is best to sway or keep the norm of rooms in Rec Room to specifically be good quality, as well as not encouraging people to do things that affect your physical or mental health. If if somebody makes a room called Silly Self Harm Simulator that made it cool to cut, hit, or burn yourself, nobody would like it and it would instantly get banned. Why do people think glorifying drug use is okay? Make sure that the creators that get nominated are nominated for making lovely original rooms. Remain objective when it comes to the Rec Room Room Rewards. Exhibit C. To conclude, I don't want to hate on anybody. I want to shed light on Rec Room's rooms and the issues they have, and to also describe what is and isn't okay. If you think there are issues with certain rooms, do what I do and spread the word. For potentially encouraging glorifying drug use to pay to win games and blatant game copies from Roblox that can potentially break copyright. However, though scummy, these rooms can continue to be created because it is protected by copyright to have the same strength as each other and in effect cancel each other out.